to accelerate your body's metabolism. Phase one, burn. Start lifting weights with Shalane and begin building muscles so you instantly jumpstart your metabolism. Phase two, push. Shalane increases resistance and isolates individual muscle groups. For lean muscle development, that dramatically accelerates your metabolism. Phase three, lean. Shalene turns the big game by adding dynamic cardio loop for the resistance training to aggressively strip <coughs> That was it. I haven't done that in a while. We're uh, taking photos. I just got done with Insanity. I'm a little off schedule, uh, but self-inflicted. I'm doing something that I normally wouldn't approve of. Um, I'm going to redo a week this week. And not because, uh, well, well, it was a crappy week. And I was sick. And I wasn't happy with And I normally don't really approve of redoing a week. Because I think that dog ears your program. When, if you want the results that you see from the very determined people. You do it verbatim. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I don't normally approve of replacing a week because I think that justifies lack of discipline. Um, and maybe I'll change my mind and stick to my guns on this but I had a terrible week because I was sick I did all my cardio days were pretty strong because after I do cardio and I'm sick I say I, mean, I just seem to feel better and I don't know if it's kinda like the sweat a fever thing I don't know but I, I like I'll feel better for the next two hours <laughs> breathe good feel great hit a shower and then after I relax all that sick will come back my strength days were crap, like total bullshit, because I had a fever. I mean, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't lift, I couldn't pull up, and, and it was sad, really. Now, I don't justify replacing the week, I, I, or, or days. I don't replace days, and I don't double down on workouts. You're not, if you can do two P90X workouts in a day, you are dogging it. You are not bringing it on the first one. Work hard, get in there, get it done, and recover. That's how I feel about it. But with all that being said, Saturday I have the race, the three mile thing. And I don't I don't run. I mean if you follow my videos, I've been talking about this for a while. I don't run. I ran on a treadmill when I was on vacation and it was great. And I was like, I should make running a part of my thing. And I probably really should. Talk about heart health. Running is it. But the thing was, when I got back to Cincinnati, I don't have a treadmill. I had to go run. And when I went to run, like pavement, where the rubber meets the road, I hurt myself. I had high ankle sprain in, in, in my left leg. And that's my good leg. And it hurt for a while. And, and it, was too, it was okay on the treadmill because you're kind of just going with it, right? The thing's moving and you're just you know avoiding falling but when you're running you're pushing against the earth and you're, you you know you're making that momentum and I my body couldn't hang failed so I worked really hard today in hopes that tomorrow which is Friday I can just kind of rest I'll probably put in the stretch disc and do that and then on Saturday my race starts at nine o'clock and if you're in the tri-state area it'll be covered although you won't see kid wiggle I'm sure 20,000 people they're not gonna follow me unless I wear something really offensive and then they might follow me but so will the police so that's my piece on the whole and I'm still not sure I might just be like you know it's a shitty week and use that for the fuel for the next round that I do and be like hey remember that one time I don't know uh, so I'm gonna miss a workout. I mean, voluntarily. Uh, tomorrow won't happen. 
so you can boo me now <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll decide what I'm gonna do later as far as body shots went uh, I just haven't done it I haven't uh, I, I was really hanging up about it I I would take them pretty often and I had them on the computer that broke and then when I lost them I stopped getting in the habit of doing them and then and then I, I just I never really got back into it because I don't take like I just I mean I don't my digital camera that I have probably has a delay timer but I just don't do tech stuff man I need someone to teach me things <laughs> uh, so so I just don't, like, I do them on this little camera right here. And all I can do is, like, guess where to stand so it's right and it's loose. So the camera's never in the right place. And my kids make little videos on this thing. So, like, all the settings look crazy. And it just ended up being a pain in the ass. That's one reason I don't do it. The second reason was I was staring at that those things like crazy. I've been doing this for... Well, since February, and I've been eating really clean. I have my times. I still do the cheat meals with my family, and I look at those pictures. And what happens is when you're big, like I was big, you don't change the way that, or at least I didn't change the way that I thought it was going to change. Like, I didn't expect to be diced coming off of 90 days from almost 200 pounds of sedimentary lifestyle. We're talking about the past six years, not doing much anything outside of, you know, normal what I had to do. No exercise. Six years. Like, I worked on, you know, you want to talk about like, yeah, you got fat on your body. Your organs have fat on them, too. Your livers got fat, and the way that I was eating, you know, all that internal stuff has fat. So when I slimmed down, like, um, I I went from like, a, shit, I don't, like a 38 pounds to a 34, and now I'm at like a 32. But I haven't bought new pants because I can't justify spending the money if it's just going to keep going. But anyway. I was just a smaller version of my same shape. Like I was plumpy. Pear shit. Like I wore all my. Like a lot of people don't even believe that I was ever that as big as I was because my face was fairly slim. And I just, you know, you fat guys wear layers, jackets and stuff. And you just be like, you'd be like, well, you know, he's just not in shape. But I, you know, I was really, really out of shape. <laughs> Um, so now I'm started like, just now, however many days into the program, eating good, exercising daily. I'm just now getting to where my body is changing shape from a marshmallow to something a little more compressed. Uh, so I stopped taking the pictures because... Like, I was just getting hung up about it. I'm like, man, this shit's not working, even though I feel great. My blood pressure that was tested, and doctors like, you know, get rid of the kids or get it down somehow. I took my blood pressure the other day. I'm like, 116 over 60. Like, everything's great, but my body's still just a smaller version of the out-of-shape wiggle. So now, I don't do pictures, but I wanted to put them up because that's what people like to see fat naked dudes <laughs> man this week's videos are just outrageous I love them okay we go to 513 on uh, shit I didn't even say what day it was the day after yesterday <laughs> Thursday the 20 something 22nd